Hey, this is Daniel from Matarama. If you saw our last video, uh, we're doing a series here where we're basically shooting kind of a project for a fictitious company, a beauty company, right? So we're shooting a bunch of shots in one day. I'm trying to emulate kind of what you would do if you, you know, if you were a photographer working on set. So the second shot for this is gonna be for their shaving cream uh, line. So we have Velson as a model and we're creating kind of a bathroom scene, but keeping it super generic. So I already have this mirror here in my studio. So I decided to just go with that and we're gonna have them in the mirror shaving with their, you know, razor. I kind of dressed it up a little bit by having a, a shower curtain. I just bought uh, several ones to see what would kind of work better. And we just basically hung it back here using auto pole. So it's just a background element. Um, again, I could have just put a white background, but this gives us a little bit of a bathroom feel. It gives us a little bit more depth to the shot. Um, and I'm using the same light source I used in the last video. This is great for these kind of shots because it's just big and open. I've got this Profoto extra large umbrella with diffusion on it here. It's a silver umbrella. Um, but with the diffusion, you get this kind of interesting spot between specular and diffuse. Now, I will say I'm using multiple lights here, unlike the last time. I'm using uh, that, and then behind the shower curtain, I put a light. There is actually light in the studio, and when I hung the shower curtain up, it looked pretty good just being lit up by the natural light. But again, I'm on an assignment here. I have to be able to get every single frame exactly the same. I need to make sure things aren't changing on me, so I blocked the light using a V-flat, and I put a strobe back there. So I'm basically just recreating what was already there, but under my control. For that, I have just a Pro Photo B2 head. And then over on this side, uh, I've got a Pro Photo B2 head in a strip bank, a one by three strip. That's giving us the highlight on the other side of his face. So it gives a lot of dimensionality to the shot. If I only lit him from the one side, they might look flat. This is, gives a big open feel. So we're gonna basically get him in spot. Now what we did was, like I have this razor that, from the company that we're working with, but everybody's face is different, there's sensitivities and stuff, so I asked him to bring his own razor and also the uh, shaving cream that he normally uses. That way we don't have any risk of uh, any issues when he starts to shave, getting lots of redness on the face or whatever. So he's gonna actually shave part of his face and then he's gonna put shaving cream over the whole thing as if it's not shaved, then he's gonna kind of fake that he's shaving it with this razor that we're gonna give him, um, which will not have a blade in it. And we'll go from there. It should be a pretty simple shot. I'm composing into the mirror. I'm using the uh, the Canon camera again, 135 millimeter lens on this time, this time. And I'm shooting again, tethered into Capture One. So we'll watch every shot as they come up. So I'm seeing the shower curtain in the background and I made a choice, uh, uh, a choice to go F11 because I wanted to be able to see a little bit of detail in it but now I'm seeing wrinkles. So I'm just gonna, you know, obviously this is brand new, so I'm just gonna steam it out a little bit. Um, if you take a warm showers, your shower curtain would not have wrinkles in it because the steam would have done this. But since we're not actually in a bathroom, I have to do it like this. Cool, so we really successfully created kind of a bathroom feel without you know, actually being in a location. The shower curtain just gives that little bit of uh, environmental feel to it. We've got the mirror going on. Again, I could have just shot him staring at the camera doing it. That's another cool shot you can do. Um, but I thought this would kind of be nice. And adding just those little bits of extra things. Again, one big flat light probably would have been fine. It would look decent, but by lighting up the shower curtain and by giving that extra little specular highlight on the side, I think that really adds the three dimensionality that, that makes the image stand out. Uh, we're going to continue with this series in the next video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Adarama TV, and I'll see you next time on set.